Hi everybody, it's Cindy. It is Sunday, December 5th, and I'm back for an update. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. As you can see, I'm in a tank top. It's in the 60s today. It's sunny. Uh, the next three days, it's going to be in the 60s, and then it's going to get cold again. So I'm really enjoying tank top and shorts. I was out on the trail today doing my hike, and of course, there's no one there but me, so I have the whole mountain to myself. But I'm going to be sharing what I've been working on in cross stitch. I have a lot to share today. I'm also going to be showing you my plans for 2022. I don't make specific stitching plans, but I did pick out patterns that I would like to stitch. Now, we want to stitch every pattern we own, but it's very hard to narrow it down. But I did pick out a bunch and we'll see, we'll see how good we do. I don't really do plans. I stitch what I want when I want. So let's get started. What have I been working on? Well, the first piece I did is from 2010. And this is the Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issue. And I did this piece right here, Love and Joy Come to You. That is by Plum Street Samplers. Now I wanted it to be done. It's actually a little bit bigger piece. Uh, Love and Joy, here, let me see what it was done on. Hold on one second. Give me one moment. I have to lean over. I have stuff everywhere. If you could only see the stuff we have all around us. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, so I did this on 28 count hand dyed Jobelin stone hedges, the color. And this, I added two bells. And I have a, a like a whitewash wooden block that I purchased in an antique store. And to attach the bells, I made a fabric button and I just hot glued that on top. And that is the first finish I did. Super cute. These older Just Cross Stitch ornament issues are awesome. It's my go-to all the time. You could always find stuff to do in there and probably enough to keep me busy for years if I wanted. <laughs> the next piece that I worked on, many people have stitched this piece. I needed a different finish though. I, Cause you see the same thing over and over and I don't know, it's just me. I feel like I've seen it a million times. So I had to do a different finish, but I love, love, love this design. It's by Abby Rose, Merry Christmas. And it's called Merry Christmas Pillow, but did I do a pillow? Nope. Uh, I actually really like how this turned out. I did this into, oh, almost fell. <laughs> I did that into a Christmas wreath. And what I did is I just put green felt on the back and of course I attached it over here with hot glue. And the wreath I just bought at a local shop try and buy locally I try and buy at small shops instead of the bigger stores and I absolutely this hangs on the wall up there but uh how cute is that I the old world style of the lettering and the color it really super cute I know super cute I like super cute <laughs> now the next piece is that I'm going to show you. I started in 2017. Now, yeah, did it take me a little while to finish? Absolutely. These are Fragments in Time by Summer House Stitchworks. These were stitched on 28 count Ren by Picture This Plus. And at one point, I couldn't get the linen to finish the rest of the pieces. I was finally able to get the linen and I did finish them. Now in this series, in this series, I don't know why, and my brain can't process, not all of the letters are in the series. And I know years ago there were certain letters not in the alphabet, but I'll show you the ones that I did. Now, I'm going to show you the ones that I did complete. And I know I've shown these before, but if you're new, there's A, B. C. 
D. No. There is no E and F. Why? I don't know. I, G H. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, this is this has some, and then I K L. Here is M N. O, P, Q, and R. I have a tutorial below on how I finish those uh, in a hoop. I just find it easy, but everybody has a different way to do it. Now here is S, T, U. I love the bird, it's cute. There was no V, but I added a V. I had to, I, I just, the brain was not, the brain was not accepting it. So they had a big W, like they had three different W's in the pattern, but no V. So I just turned one of the W's into a V. And there is VW. And then XYZ. Now, believe it or not, I bought all the hoops a long time ago, and I was one short. I had to order more hoops, and I got them in. So I will fully finish all of these. So I stitched a bunch of them. I mean, it, it was a lot. And like I said, 28 count Wren. And I really like the color. It was a fun series. It only took me three years. <laughs> you have to last. Listen, some projects you forget about and then you're like, I didn't have the linen. I'll never do that again. The supply chain. Yeah, nobody ever expected that. But the supply chain was kind of off the charts. Now, the next thing I'm going to go show, Cheryl, if you're watching, pause and go a couple minutes ahead. That's my sister. She watches my videos. Pretty much nobody else in my family or friends watch my videos, which I guess is good. All right, so my sister is a big quilter. And what I did is I stitched her a C. All, me and my sisters all have a name that starts with C. And I kind of followed that with my girls. My girls' names begin with an A. So I made this. My kids don't watch the videos either. This is for Amanda. And I added a little heart. I just took, um, you could find fonts of letters anywhere. And I just made cross stitch buttons. And these are gonna be sent out as a gift. The next piece is from Honeysuckle Manor. I know I showed this in my last video. I think that was my my freezed frame. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was um, a video or two ago. I don't know. I don't remember. I, I'm pretty sure this was in there. But what I did is I took a piece. Make sure there's no pattern. Right, there's no pattern. You can see these little pin cushions. And I did the house, that little house. But what I did is I didn't make it a pin cushion. What I did, that's so cute came out really cute. As I changed the color a little bit, I made it red. And I found this at a local shop too. The same local shop that I found the wreath at. And this is a little tiny birdhouse and it comes with all the, everything. All I had to do was just finish it and glue it on. And that, it's a really a cute little Christmas ornament. And you could put it up on, I'll probably be putting it up on the fireplace mantle. But isn't that cute? And you could definitely, you know, with these books, you could take snippets and do whatever you like with them. So that was another finish. I've been busy. Like, I, I think it's only been two weeks since my last video, so I've done a lot. Uh, the next one that I'm going to show you... I know a lot of people have this. This is the 
Bells of Christmas by Brendan Gervais. Now, I made a gift uh, for a friend in Pennsylvania. If your name is Carol and you live in Pennsylvania, just skip ahead a couple of minutes. I don't, I don't know if she watches my YouTube videos or not, but I've known her for years and years. And I'm gonna just wait a couple of seconds. Okay, Carol, move ahead. I don't know if she watches, and I don't want her to see it, but I finished it into a little round ornament. And I just didn't pull the whole pattern, but I look at the little lambs, they're so cute. And I did it single strand, one, one over one, and this was on a scrap linen. I added some little fuzzy from Lady Dot white and I just used the back is just felt it's so cute I'm actually stitching one for my I liked it so much I'm stitching it for myself and I did start it and I only got that far though so I'll do one for me one for me one for you on my Christmas tree in the back there and I know I said this last year, those little pockets of small areas where little smalls could fit in. Most of the tree is full, but there's little pockets where I could add a couple more little tiny ones. So that's what I'm going to do. I also did get a snowball by Brenda Gervais, but I haven't started these, but I love these. And these kind of match with, it's the same color scheme as the Bells of Christmas. Like the greenish type. Cute. They're really cute. And I know a lot of people have been stitching that too. So that, is that everything? I, oh no. Those are the finished pieces I have. So that, that that's a lot for me. It's only been a couple weeks. It's stitching season. <laughs> when it gets cold and dark early, it's stitching season. So the next piece that I worked on I started this in November 2018. Uh, the linen I did it on is 28 count spring morning by color and cotton. I was working on spring at Hawthorne Hollow. I know I was doing a stitch along with Amy at Amy Loves Toads and Janine, but Amy finished her was probably a couple of Probably finished it that year, knowing Amy. <laughs> Amy's prolific. But I did a block and then I stitched out. And it's good to do a block and then work on something else because these, a block of Hawkorn Hollow is like a finish to me. But let me see. This is the block that I worked on. This one right here. And that says, The fig tree puts forth its figs. This piece is it's bigger than me. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a good look at that. So I only have four more blocks to do. And of course I stitched, I outlined the next block. So when I pick it up, I am ready to go. I need to finish this in 2022. It's ridiculous that it's been around this long. That's sometimes how things roll. I don't have a million whips going on, and that's works in progress if you're new. That would drive me crazy. I don't have people, some people have 50, 100. I would, I'm lucky I could handle a couple of them. I would mind 50, 100. Everybody's different. There's nothing wrong with that. I just don't have the brain capacity to do that many. Uh, the next piece that I was working on is my piece. This is, I started this in August 2021. I started this this year. And I pulled out and I did a little bit more on the pumpkin area. I only worked on it for one day. And of course I don't want to stitch, I don't want to stitch um, full, but I did work on it a little bit and I added it really is pretty. Look at the colors. What I did is I added in here, up in here. And I will 
Yeah, that's outside, not noise. Somebody's driving a motorcycle. I told you, it's like spring. But that is the piece I've been working on. This is a kit, and I really do like the kit. And this I have to finish next year also. So those are the first two pieces. Those are all the things I've been stitching on in the last two weeks. Okay. Now, I'm going to have some giveaways because it's the giving season. And I'm also uh, going to attach to this video the winner of this book. Jenny Doan, huge quilter in the community. Most people know her. Um, How to Stitch an American Dream. She's from the Missouri, quilt, Missouri Star Quilt Company. Uh, she is found a great, great story. Funny. She has some funny stories in here. She's really good. So stay tuned. We'll see who wins that. And listen, I'm going to the post office today's Sunday. I'm going to the post office on Tuesday. If you get to me before Tuesday, it'll be mailed out with all the other packages I'm mailing out. If you don't get to me before then, and I understand we're all busy, I'm probably not going to mail it out until after Christmas. There's no way I'm going to the post office after Tuesday. I'm not dealing with all those crowds and stuff, but when they're coming up for this, I'm going to be showing you, all right, so my youngest daughter, I asked for a list, what do you want for Christmas? And she said she wanted some fabric. I'm like, great, I could go to the fabric store. And I love fabric, I do. I could spend tons on fabric which is why I don't quilt anymore. It's too expensive for me. But she told me she wanted fabrics with food. So I'm like, okay, interesting. Now me and my older sister are like excited. Are we gonna have a quilter or a sewer in the field? We're like ecstatic. Cause out of, between me and my older sister, there's five kids, nobody quilts, nobody cross stitches. Nobody. <laughs> they just don't do it. The youngest one, me and my sister are like, oh, this is great. So I'm going to show you the fabrics I picked out. They are awesome. Okay, I had to bend down below to get them. So she wanted food. I'm like, no problem. Food is good for me. Look at the cakes. They look so good. I want cake. <laughs> look, and I went into the um, quilt store yesterday on Saturday. And I went around 1130. They open at 11. I figured he was going to be mobbed. Every time I go there, there's, it's a small shop, and there's usually a lot of people in it. There was no one there, just me. I couldn't believe it. And I go in, and I'm looking around, and the lady's like, can I help you? I'm like, well, do you have any food fabric? She goes, turn left. It's right in front of you. Like, it, it could have reached out and, like, hit me. It's that close. It's funny. Next piece. And these are all fat quarters. They were all cut up into fat quarters. I thought it was awesome. These are apples. This, I, I don't know if this is my favorite one, but I'm going to open this one up a little bit more. And you'll understand why. Look at the bread. Is that like... <laughs> it looks just like bread. It makes me want Italian bread. When I was growing up, around the block from where I grew up, they used to make Italian fresh bread in this, I don't know, it's just a, it's not, it wasn't for uh, local shoppers, it was for wholesale, but we would bang on the door, give the guy a quarter, imagine a quarter, and you got a fresh big loaf of Italian bread, and we used to just eat it Right, right when they gave it to you, it was so good. And I think that's what that reminds me of. Okay, childhood memories, things you remember. The next is potatoes. These are peppers. This one's really cool. This is olives. I've never seen, I've never seen that before. This one's cute too. Corn on the cob. Who doesn't love corn on the cob? 
I know I do. Carrots. They're really colorful and pretty. I don't know what she's going to do with them, but I hope she has fun with them, whatever she does. Got radishes. They look like cherries, but they are radishes. Garlic. Look at the garlic. Cool. Tomatoes. Look at the mushrooms. I even like the mushrooms. They're kind of cool too. Really like it. And the last one is baked potatoes. It's like, let's, are they not cool? I've never seen, she had, I couldn't believe I walked in and I just literally went through all the fat, fat quarters and took like one of each. It was that easy. And I hope my daughter has fun with them. I'll be shipping those out on Tuesday, like I said. And if she makes something, I will share it on a, a future video. So I had fun shopping for that in a, in a fabric store. Now I did buy a bunch for me, but I'm not going to bore you with that. I just wanted to show you the food ones because I thought they were kind of cool. And there's most of them I've never seen before. So that was kind of fun. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the giveaways. So let me just reach over and get them. So there's four patterns I'm going to be giving away. In the comments section, all you have to put is which number you want. You could enter all of them, but just the numerical order, one, two, three, or four. Don't type out one, oh, eight, and eight. Just type the numerical. So number one, and all of these I stitch except one. And the other one I bought by accident, two patterns. So I'm going to give one away. We're going to do the Prairie School where I stitched him. And this is the 2021 Santa. So if you want him, just put number one in the comment below. Number two, and I put sticky notes so I know the numbers and I don't lose track. This is called Basket of Love. This is Cottage Garden, and that is the bunny. Now I bought by accident two of them. So I'm going to give one away. Let somebody else stitch. He's in my plans for next year. He's really cute. So that's number two. Number three, this one I stitched. Thankful Quaker by Ben Creek. A little turkey. I finished that and you've seen that on my Pretty Obvious videos. So that's number three. And number four is Plum Street Samplers, Sampler House 4. This one I stitched also. Love, love, love this design. Now, I could only do USA only. I'm sorry about out of state, but I've shipped stuff in the past couple of weeks overseas. And to ship a pattern was, uh, uh, the prices were really, it cost more for shipping than it did for the pattern. And I just don't have that kind of money. I apologize for that, but USA only. So that's one, two, three, or four. The next thing I'm going to show you is all the patterns I picked out for 2022. Now, whether I get to them or not, that's another story. And let me know which one is your favorite. Give me one second. Now, these are in no particular order. And this is the Mill Hill kit, and this is the pizza. And I saw this from Christine at Calico. She has a YouTube video, and she does a ton of these Mill Hill kits. And she did the pizza a while ago, and ever since then, I still, I still want want to do the pizza. The next one is a Mill Hill kit, and this is called Buttons and Beads. And that is the butterfly.
This is from the Blue Flower, and this is called Quilting Bee. I love this pattern. Now, it's not that I don't want to stitch any of these. It's I don't, I don't have time. None of us have time to stitch everything we want, so it's hard to pick, but I really want to do that one. This is Brenda Gervais, and this is called Spring, F Spring Fling. And this is the bunny. I'll show the bunny right there. Thank you. I know a lot of people stitch this one. Next one is the blue flower. This is Tudor Bee. Really like this one too. Hands on designs. This is more chocolate bunnies. And it comes with little, little buttons. It's really cute. This is by Brenda Gervais. L genders. It's a it's a red small sample. It's not a huge one. Um, really cute. This is a uh, Silver Creek Samplers lighting the way. This is the lighthouse. It's really pretty. This is Basket of Love. This is one of the giveaways, so I do have him in my lineup. <laughs> See if he makes it. See whoever makes the cut. Plum Street Samplers, Home for Christmas. I really like that one. Now this one should have been done a long time ago. I even have the threads in the back. This is Cottage Garden, and this is Faith, and these are, this is the bird series, and I, my favorite bird is a blue jay, and I have not done this. I have to. These are bigger, though, than you think they are, because I have one of them hanging up, and I love them all, but they're definitely time-consuming. They're not a quick stitch. And this is Be Merry Pin Pillow. This is by Chessie and Ming. I like that one. I know a lot of people have done this one also. I collect pin cushions. And let me show it this way. It's cute. This is a quick stitch. This isn't long. Of course, it's Brenda Gervais. This is the Abbey Rose Designs. This is Let Freedom Ring. Patriotic. This is by Blackbird Designs. These are the three stockings for November and it's called Thankful November. There's the turkey. And you got two on the back. This I have the whole kit. Plum Street Samplers, Hello Summer. Summer is my favorite season. It's not a really big piece. I really need to do this. <laughs> this kit I've had a while too. It's a whole kit. It's called Mirabilia, the Easter Fairy. And I have wanted to do this for a while. I think I had it in my lineup a couple years in a row. Just never had time. This is with Thy Needle. It's called Lila Studios with the needle. This is a big piece. It's beautiful though. And it's this one is all kitted up. Really, really pretty piece. I've wanted to do this one for a while too. This is the embroidered stocking by Kathy Barrick. Love this one. Wanna do it? Not kit it up. But I really like it. The next one is Butterfly Cloche. Liz Matthews. 
I know several people have stitched this already. When I stitch it, I don't think I'm going to put the cloche around it. I think I'm just going to do the butterflies. It's beautiful. It's really pretty. Now the next piece is I do have kitted up. I really want to do them. This is the Scarlet House, and this is the Perfect World. It's really pretty. And I have it all kitted up. This one I have, I bought a really, really big piece of linen to do these. And I want to do wordplay. I have January. I don't even have them all, but I do want to do them. October. September and the linen it's a really big piece of Week Skyworks and I bought enough to do all of them and I do have the linen the, the threads oh, for September oh, I want to start those <laughs> more pieces. This is a full kit also. This is Plum Street Samplers Autumn Gifts. It's so small, it's hard to see, but it's beautiful. And I have that fully kitted up. Would love to do that. And the last one this is by the Scarlet House and it's called Hannah's Brownstone. I love houses. And this isn't really super big. I have the linen, just not the thread. The threads I could probably, I probably have the threads, so I just have to fold them. Those are the pieces that I pulled out for 2022. It's hard to believe we're going into 2022, but we are. Let me know which one was your favorite. I'm going to be including uh, some footage of some hikes and video. And I didn't want to start my video on a bad note. But I do want to say there was a ton of people praying for Ray. Ray passed away right before Thanksgiving. And I wanna thank everybody who was praying for him. He has three teenage kids, it's, the, it's a hard one. Um, I wanna thank you so much for praying for him. He is home, he's in a better, better place. And I just wanna say thank you for all of the comments. And um, I did put a post on Instagram and I did put a post I think on my community tab but I know a lot of people don't see those and um, I just want to really thank you um, it's tough <laughs> it's been it's been a tough year uh, a lot of people I say they went home this is not our eternal home so I say they went home and that's someday we will be reunited with everybody I have some great footage uh, on my, on, the, on Thanksgiving, my son was born the day before Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving changes every year. Now, this year it fell on a Saturday and we've been, for the last several years, we he's wanted to go out on his birthday on Thanksgiving day. And he was turning 30 this year, so he is now 30. It's hard to believe, I don't know how it's 30, but he is. So he wanted to go to a steakhouse in South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina. And it was the Chop House. I don't know the full name. I know we went to a Chop House and it was full on Thanksgiving. There was two seatings and they were full for both two seatings. I'll share some pictures of he wanted steak. 
was <laughs> fine with me. I didn't want steak, but it was his day. It was his celebration. He had a great time. Uh, we, we had fun. And it was an hour drive for where, from where he lives in Asheville. So I was there for a couple of days. Uh, on Thanksgiving Day, and he's got tons of trails by him, hiking trails. Uh, we went on an easy walk on Thanksgiving Day. And then the next day, I don't know, it was cold the next day after Thanksgiving. It was like 32 degrees. It was windy, so windy. And we were, he had me on the trail by 8.15 a.m. <laughs> Hiking, not the easy trail, the hard trail. Uh, but it felt so good. Once you get five minutes into hiking, you're sweating, you're, you're not cold. But it was very, very windy. And I was concerned it was so windy and that you're walking through all trees. Like, I'm like, all right, be careful of any dead trees because they could fall over. I mean, it was that windy, but it was beautiful. Uh, it was great. Uh, I'll include some pictures of that. We had a good time on his birthday, and I was glad that I made his 30th birthday special. We'll never forget it. Uh, the steak he got, it, I never paid that much for a steak in my life. Probably never will again. <laughs> it was okay. It was his birthday. Uh, we had a lot of fun. So it was a great memory. Uh, we had fun. And he is in the process right now of buying a house in Asheville, North Carolina. He should close at the end of this month, so send a little prayer for Chris for uh, easy closing and stuff like that. He had the inspection and the appraisal, and it's pretty much a done deal. So I'm excited. I love what he purchased, and he's not that far from me. It's only about an hour and a half. So on that note, I'm going to leave on a high note. I want everybody to have a safe, happy, and joyous Christmas season. I know this year is, you know, the holidays are hard for a lot of people. Just be thankful for whatever you do have and not what you don't have. None of us have everything. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Uh, just be grateful. Be safe out there. I probably will not be back until after New Year's. New Year's Day is my birthday. Uh, send some prayers for that. <laughs> another year <laughs> and I don't mind birthdays I like them I actually love my birthday on New Year's Day so I'll probably be back after the New Year starts and until we meet again everybody happy stitching Merry Christmas or have a great holiday season whatever you celebrate have a great day hey everybody I'm gonna show you my Christmas decorations I don't have a whole house full of decorations. I just do the fireplace mantle, the tree, and another area, and I'll, I'll show you that in a moment. But this is the fireplace mantle. And it goes all the way down. And I really do keep my house very simple, but I do enjoy what I do have. And I'm going to show you the other displays right over here. And that cross stitch piece was a gift from Tiffany. Tiffany, I love it if you're watching. And that, that is it. I don't have a whole house full of decorations like everybody else does. I really do like simplicity. I don't know if that's a sign of aging or not, but this is a shot of the area. I love it. It's, it's festive enough for me, and I enjoy every piece I do have. Happy stitching and Merry Christmas, everyone. Okay, everyone, we're going to do the random comment generator to pick the winner of the book. And let's go. And Seely, I would love to win the Jenny Doan book. I love your channel. I always get inspiration from you. Best wishes to you. 
and Sealy, you are the winner of the Jenny Doan book. In the drop down box is my email address. Send me a snail mail with your address and I'll get it out to you. Thank you for participating, everyone. Hi, everybody. It's Cindy. I'm out on the trail. As you could see, it's blue skies. There's hardly any left. No leaves anymore. It's quiet. There's no one here on the trail. Just me. I didn't even see a car in the park. So get out there. Get walking. Have a great weekend.